cataractcoach.com. Why not use the laser for the incisions? So why does the surgeon use a steel blade? This is a case that's done with a femtosecond laser. And boy, patients love the word laser, laser, laser. But you just saw the pairs and diesel was done with a steel blade. Now you can see the femtosecond laser has been used to make a capsulotomy as well as to divide the nucleus into six pieces or sextants. Now here comes the viscoelastic going inside the eye. We're showing the video at one and a half times normal speed so we can be efficient here. And now the surgeon is going to make the main incision just like a stab incision with the steel keratome. And I guess that's okay. But it makes you wonder, well, why not use a femtosecond laser? Well, I think most of us have realized that if you use a femtosecond laser for the main phaco incision, or even the paracentesis, it's just not as good. Because remember, the laser is making that incision by doing thousands upon thousands of little tiny spots. And those spots end up leaving like a pebbled surface, almost like a cobblestone surface. And so that tends not to heal as well. So I do definitely prefer incisions to be made without the femtosecond laser for the main incision and the pairs and thesis. In fact, as you saw from yesterday's video, I like diamond keratomes. That's my favorite. Now the surgeon's going in here with the phaco probe and chopper. And let's see the technique here. Looks like just buzzing into the nucleus and maybe a horizontal chop. Kind of piece is already pretty much chopped from the femto. But that's a nice technique here. I like that. Taking these pieces out one by one, rotating the nucleus. And this should be a pretty efficient case. Now, does this surgeon really need the femtosecond laser? No, I don't think so. This surgeon seems very talented to me. Does this surgeon want to use a femtosecond laser? Well, sometimes you do for unusual cases. But in this case, which is pretty routine, not sure of the benefit here. I'm sure this surgeon could do a beautiful capsule rexus. And as you know, capsule rexus made with the forceps in a tearing motion is often a lot stronger than a femtosecond laser made anterior capsulotomy, which as you know, the edges looks like perforated dots like the edge of a postage stamp. And so here we go, taking out the epinuclear shell here. A lot of times, especially in my neck of the woods, it's done because of patient preference. Sometimes patients just love the word laser. Heck, patients sometimes don't realize that the CD player in their car is a laser. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website? Yes, there's a free Cataract Coach PDF book there. You should get it. A 25-part curriculum series. We've got a full search engine there, so you don't have to ask me questions. You can look it up yourself. And, of course, check out that weekly podcast. Here now, just moving the cortex using the IA probe. This looks pretty good. This seems to be a pretty routine case, just using a femtosecond laser. I wanted to highlight that, yes, most surgeons that I know who use a femtosecond laser for a case of cataract surgery will end up not using it for the incisions. I think some surgeons like me prefer just a diamond keratome, which is for sure the gold standard, and other surgeons prefer to use a steel blade. But I think both steel and diamond keratomes are better than the femtosecond laser for the main incision. Now, if you're talking about, well, what about a limbal relaxed concision? Yeah, I think the femtosecond laser may have some advantages in making a consistent LRI, but again, for a full penetrating incision, for the main incision or your presentesis, I think you're better off not using the femtosecond laser, at least today. Whoa, 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 with that lens insertion, yikes! Wait a minute! I don't like that technique, pushing the eye, shoving the eye all the way in the nasal canthus, the whole, gosh, the whole limbus 360 almost disappeared. Anyway, finish up the case now, looks pretty good. I did not enjoy that lens insertion. I'm afraid to go back and watch it with you again. It was a little bit too much for me. I'd rather you just, listen, open up the incision a little bit. If the incision is that tight that you can't get the injector in, just open the incision up a little bit. I think it's going to be a lower risk thing. If it was my eye, enlarge the incision. Let's see at the end of the case now. Beautiful looking result here. Good overlap of the optic by the rexus. Seal up the incisions. Let's call this a day. And that looks pretty darn good. But yeah, keep in mind, femtosecond lasers are great. But comment below, are you using a femtosecond laser to make your incisions for cataract surgery or not? And check out our podcast every week, a brand new podcast. You will love it. I promise you. Check it out.